Hi, Brett here, and I'm back and wanted to share a few things with you today as far as uh, practice and as far as music. And before we start, I just want to share something. And uh, my last day in Florida, actually my next to the last day, I got up at uh, 6 in the morning and I went out. I was on a lake about 7 in the morning to watch the sunrise in my kayak. And I, I recorded this. Some of you have seen this on Facebook, but I wanted you to watch this. And then at the end, I'm going to ask you, and what I want you to do is, is watch the video, um, listen to the video, and give me your thoughts, your opinions, your perceptions of the video, how the video made you feel. And then uh, I'm going to have you do that first, and then I'll talk to you when we get back. So you could write this on a piece of paper or you could put it in the comments below, but if you could give me what you thought about that video, what you saw in that video, um, how the video made you feel. And now I'm going to have you watch another video and I would like you to do the same thing. And you will hear different things in this video probably than you heard in the first video, but I want you to watch the video. Uh, give me your perceptions, your thoughts of what you're thinking. So in the second video, you, you probably heard the birds, but you also probably heard the cars. And w what I did was I took the sound of the first video you watched on the lake, and I used that same background and put it with the visual video of the car. And if you watch the first video again, and I'll play just a short clip for you here. You could probably hear the cars as a low hum and you may hear the engines roar a little bit and there's a highway right there. One of the things that surprised me uh, about that area is you could be out in the middle of nowhere <laughs> and you could have alligators around you or you could be out looking for, you know, you could see birds and egrets, but almost constantly you hear, if you focus on it, you can hear the cars, you can hear sirens all day long. Uh, you can hear the different noises of the city in the area, even if you're out of the city. It's, it's always there. And the difference is it's where your focus is at. 
and where you're putting your attention to. So even when I was out on the lake, um, I didn't hear the birds near as much on the lake as I did as I watched the video. When I was on the lake, the, the noises of the cars actually were a little bit annoying to me and of the planes going overhead and the different things like that. My point of all this is, is our focus and our attention is extremely important. You've probably heard that we use 10% of our minds. And by the way, that's been proven false a long time ago. That is not true. That is something that uh, Morgan Freeman said in a documentary, so everybody believed it, but it is not true. The, the fact is we use all of our minds. What the problem is, our minds are over stimulated, too much influence. Even in the very first part when I was talking, you may have heard a plane going overhead. And uh, what happens is, is when we're listening, even watching this video, because not everybody watches all the videos because their mind starts to wander, uh, which is usually boredom, but that's true with all YouTube videos. That's true with everything because something can trigger you and you immediately start thinking of something else. And, and just for example, how many times have you read a book and you read a page, you got clear to the bottom, you don't remember anything you read. Your eyes saw the words. You may have even read them out loud, but nothing computed. You can sit through a lecture, you can sit through a sermon. Same thing. You hear part of it, you don't hear part of it. And, and the truth is we actually, our minds wander close to 50% of the time. So it may not be in one big chunk. It can be here and there. And if you think of it, our minds are like a, like a, a music, like a CD player uh, or a, a video player in that you have a present play button, you have a rewind button, and you have a fast forward button. And here's what happens is we are in the present and then something triggers our mind and we start thinking without being conscious of it, we start thinking of something in the past um, or we're in the present and without thinking about it, we start thinking what we need to do tomorrow. And our minds are here and here and here and here and here and here and they're all over the place. So the, put, the importance of the focus is to stay as in tune as you can on the present. Um, this is true you know, I, I just lost my mom, and there are times you're not even thinking of it, and many of you can associate with this, you're not even thinking of your mom necessarily, but you're just brushing your teeth, you're driving your car, and all of a sudden you start thinking, or I start thinking of my mom, and you don't even know how many minutes goes by that you lose, you, you don't even know what you're thinking, you know, doing because you're thinking about that past. Something that's already past, something that you can do nothing about. And then, by the same token, you know, I'm thinking of next Christmas without my mom. And I'm mentally preparing for that. And I'm just going back and forth trying to stay focused on the present and not be so distracted with the past or with the future. So what I'm trying to tell you is our focus to have focus and you're talking, you're talking to somebody who does this, that, oh, a butterfly, not that bad, but, but my mind goes everywhere at once, you know, uh, I'll be talking and just, I'll just start saying something and, and my wife or somebody will say, what are you talking about? And, and it's because my mind's off different directions. So my point is, Focus has to be intentional. It has to be practiced. It has to be worked on. Now, sometimes uh, it's good to let your mind wander. Uh, we're built that way for a reason. Uh, when I'm performing or when I'm playing, many times if I think about what I'm doing, I, I totally mess up. So I purposely let my mind wander. Uh, on certain tunes, uh, I've talked about Gettysburg Rain for years and years and years. Uh, that was written back in 2001. People have wanted me to share or teach Gettysburg Rain, which I never would, except for on very, very rare occasions. And recently, I just put it in a Mountain Dulcimer book and in a Hammer Dulcimer book 
that I have on my website for sale with all other tunes. It's called Gettysburg Rain and other songs of the heart or other tunes of the heart. And those are all songs that I have written that have an emotional connection with me. But one of the reasons I would never share Gettysburg Rain is because when I'm, I'm playing Gettysburg Rain, my focus is actually on the incident of how that song came about, which was playing in Gettysburg in front of a sutler during a rainstorm. And I, re I remember people standing there in umbrellas listening to me play as, this, as the rain was coming down, sometimes hard, sometimes soft. And every time I play that tune, I play it different because my focus varies in that rainstorm, if that makes any sense. Uh, but sometimes it's just when I'm playing, I'm, I'm not paying attention to anything. Uh, I, I sometimes just forget that I'm even playing and that actually helps me sometimes to play better. It doesn't help with practice. It doesn't help with life in general. Uh, letting our minds wander can actually be dangerous. When you think of people who are physicians, people who are soldiers, people, policemen, uh, people who, who have to keep that focus and that attention. And, and the fact is, when we do keep that attention, when we do stay focused in our practice, in our you know, setting aside time to even practice music, what happens is we say we're going to practice, we get busy doing this, we get busy doing that, we get busy doing this, and it's long gone. So what we have to do is we have to actually not just plan our day and plan the activity, we have to plan our focus so that we can stay on track of what we should be doing. So I hope that's helped. I hope you enjoyed that little experiment that you were unwittingly a part of. And uh, I'm back on track. I'm going to get some lessons done here, and we will see you all soon. Thanks so much.